Ready? Yeah. Imagine if you were the boss. That's insane. Of all your family's money. Oh, I'm loving this. You could buy whatever you wanted. I think I like that one, but then I also saw this one. Whenever you wanted. That is gorgeous. Without having to ask your parents. What can you do with this camera that you can't do with your phone? For a whole month. Went shopping, got swimmers, got myself a new shirt. Five, six, seven. I think it was over $200. Hi. So you think this is going to last us two days or one day? Ooh. This is the beginning of a dictatorship. Michaela is a social 13-year-old who has trouble holding on to money. I like to spend my money especially on fashion, shoes, the cinemas. I love shoes. I really want to get a new pair. Whenever I go to the mall, there's always something I want. If I had the chance to buy the shoes, I would definitely get them. I want them so bad. I also buy a lot of food. Hey ladies, how are we today? Oh, good, thank you. We ready to order? Yes. Yeah. Always go out for lunch to big restaurants with all my friends. Yeah. Oh my God, Moroccan lamb and that wastes a lot of the money that I spend, sometimes too much. I really like these though. There is not a day that I won't be at the shops not buying anything. <laughs> yeah, I actually really do like them. Michaela really needs to learn the value of money and what it means for us to have to go to work to earn that money. My name's Eddie Wu. I love numbers and showing people all the amazing things we can do with them. And I'm about to make Michaela a real-life teenage boss. In my family, I've got my mom, Emma. She's basically the caretaker of the house. My dad, Gavin. My brother, Kyle. Then I've got my sister. Her name's Tennille. I love playing sport, skateboarding sometimes, just after school. My life goals is to spend most of my money on travelling. Pick out what things you want to see. You can do that pastry and chocolate yeah, tour. Sure. I'd love to save up with my friends so we can go to Paris when we're older. The Eiffel Tower is pretty basic, just saying. There's a billion places I really want to travel to and I'm hoping I can see them all when I'm old enough. This is the Philippines. Saving up for a trip to Paris is a wonderful goal. But mum and dad think Michaela has a lot to learn about managing money before her dream comes true. The concept of how much things cost, she, she hasn't got that concept. That. It's just the money, the money will be there for me. Michaela is a savvy teen with some expensive tastes. That's why whenever she gets money, it never lasts very long. Mum and Dad think she has no concept of what things cost. Do you think we can help Michaela think a little more long-term and responsibly about money? Let's go and meet her. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you going? I'm well, thanks. You. Is Michaela around right she? now? She? Michaela! Hi, Hello. Michaela. I'm Hi. Eddie. Hi. Um, I hear from Mum and Dad that you're a bit of a shopper. Is that the case? I guess so. How do you get money? My mum kind of shouts me sometimes. OK. I bet you'd be interested if you didn't have to constantly ask Mum and Dad for money, right? Yeah. Well, I actually have something in this case that might help with that. Can we come in so I can show you? Yes, sure. please do. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Michaela, before I ask some insight from you, Dad, how would you describe Michaela when it comes to money? Very loose. Loose, okay. <laughs> if she gets a bit of money, she'll just go and blow it like straight away. Right. <laughs> okay, not, not much of a saver. Not very no, careful. no, that's not in her vocabulary. <laughs> right. Okay, so Michaela, tell me, what's maybe the last item you can think of and you saw that and you're like, oh, I really want that? The most gorgeous shoes ever. <laughs> I had to get them. Michaela can't close the cupboard because she has so many shoes and clothes <laughs> and Michaela loves to spend money. That's probably the bottom line. Right, and I think that's pretty natural. I mean, uh, Michaela's not the only one who likes to spend money. But I think what we all want to be able to do is hopefully help Michaela not be like this for the rest of her life and learn how to manage money. So what I'm suggesting is a bit of an experiment. What's in this suitcase is the family's entire budget for one whole month. And what I'm going to propose 
is that we give Michaela the opportunity to be in control. Oh, no. So, for one month, your family's budget, what you're going to be in charge of, is $4,850. Oh, my God! Oh, I... I'm going shopping. Don't spend it on shoes, Michaela. <laughs> Kyle's panicking, I think. Yeah. Oh, I can see that case being cut in half in a week. <laughs> oh, my God, I've got a light-headed. <laughs> this is serious experiment where we need to see whether she can manage money. I will guide you, Michaela, but they will be your decisions. I'm pretty scared. Michaela will get that amount of money and she will spend it straight away. So the biggest concern that I would have is that it would just disappear overnight and then we'd have nothing left. Are you ready? No. no. OK, this is the budget for the month. It's insane. That is just like too much money in my hand. What I really, really, like really want out of this is to go like traveling. <laughs> Bye family. I feel so good right now. You could literally like bath in this. Whoa, that is a lot of money. I did not expect it to be that much. I'll try to do my best with it and try to save it, but I feel like it's gonna go like really quickly. She'll spend that on herself, or a majority of it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of being like bossed around, especially by my sister, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me. What happens if I was the boss? Oh, I don't know, it'd be worse, wouldn't it? <laughs> so... Before Michaela begins her reign as the family's new money manager, I want to help her understand her family's budget. What I've got here are some documents to help you make a plan. That's all the budget is. It's just a, a way to make sure that you plan for the future um, and don't run out of money before the end of the month and like blow it all on yeah. something really quickly, okay? The first thing she needs to know is that the fixed costs, like the mortgage, insurances and electricity, are already taken care of. If we don't pay them, we can get in some serious trouble. The $4,850 Michaela is in charge of is for the family's day-to-day -day expenses, like food, entertainment and clothing. In this part of the budget, Michaela has the freedom to do whatever she likes. Before I let you make all those decisions, what I have here which you can have a look at is what your family spends in a normal month on each of these items. Right. You don't have to use any of these numbers, uh, okay. but they're not a bad starting point when you come to make your plan. Finally, if you want to purchase some big item, there's something that you maybe want to save up for. That money has to come from somewhere else. You might have to reduce, say, entertainment or hairdressing. You will have to make that choice. Right. Okay. okay. So, now's the time for you to have a go at doing this yourself. Good luck. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm kind of scared that Michaela's going to spend it all on her. I feel that she will really continue to be led by her desires, and that is to, to buy lots of clothes and, and shoes and, and the food that she wants. I'm looking at the budget and I've realised that the possibility of going to Paris or going on any holiday isn't really possible. So I think any money that I can save, I'll save to put towards shoes. I reckon there'll be a few surprises with the money because I've kind of like changed around how they organise things. Oh. And I feel like we could even save a bit more with me being the boss. <laughs> OK, so we'll start with home maintenance. We do use $400 per month on, you know, our gardens and pool. And I put that down to $200. Who does the chores, the housework, the cleaning, the cooking? See, that comes with home maintenance, and I thought you would like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got petrol. It used to be $500, and I cut that down to $400 because I reckon you know, I just think that we don't... Well, the easy way to save on petrol is not run you to the shops. Yeah, I'll catch the train. We'll save us 100 bucks easy. <laughs> <laughs> Food groceries, it was 2000 and I left it the same. So we should probably keep an eye on that because it's a lot of money. We can cut down a bit on that. We can do 1000 to 1500 easy. 
with eating out and takeaways, it was $200 a month and I put that up to $300 so we can go out and eat at restaurants and especially me because I do eat out a lot. So with clothing and shoes, it was $200 and now it's $300. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's stocked up with clothes and shoes. Don't need anything else. Absolutely. Like, that's something we can cut out straight I think you could save that money straight off the bat. With pocket money, you all have $100 each. Uh, Twenty-five a week. Uh, no. It's not much, but we, we'll give it a go. Once we add up all of those things, there is a little saving at the end. And Michaela, it would probably be good if you explain what that saving is and what you intend to do with it. OK, so with the saving, there is left over $200, which I was hoping it would be travel. But with everything that we usually buy, we will not have enough money to go anywhere. <laughs> oh no, please uh, don't tell me it's clothes. Michaela is the boss. No, it's not clothes, it's shoes. No! <laughs> so, there's a pair of shoes that I'm saving with the end of the amount. In your dreams. She's got a lot of shoes in the shoe cupboard already and she doesn't use half of them. I do want to say that it's a really important thing for Michaela to have a saving goal. That was the kind of motivation that we have for this whole process. And I think Michaela's already shown in this short space of time that she's developed and not just said, I'm just going to spend all on, on a big shopping spree. So we should give her credit for that. And she still has a lot of things to learn when she goes out shopping. Does the shopping. And works out how much things cost. So take care, guys. You. So, see you later. Bye. Well, well, well. Scared? No. No? Mm -hmm. Michaela's first challenge as the financial boss is to feed her family. And she's heading to the grocery store with her best mates, Claudia and Sarah. Have you ever done grocery shopping before? No. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty nervous about my first shop and I feel like I'm not going to end up buying the things that I should be for the family. I think I'm going to be spending around $300. Now, what do we need from our first aisle? Um, snacks. Snacks. Hmm. Mm. You could get that, but you could actually save money with this, which is probably the oh, no. exact same thing. I'll get oats because my mum really likes oats. That's good. So this one is a dollar and eight cents, so that one's three dollars ninety nine. So I'm going for the cheaper one. Yeah. I'm going to grab some noodles. For what? I'll just use them for snacks because my brother and sister and everyone always eat noodles. Well, and you know, you only got three. They're cheap. Yeah, you only got three. three. We need chips, or else okay. we're Value not going to survive. My I'm gonna get cookies, but I'm gonna get these ones because they're way bigger. And they're better value. Yeah, I'll have to have them. They're all snacks. We kind of need to prioritize snack. Dinner. <laughs> Looking at the shop, I've got my brother way enough. I've got my sister way enough. I haven't really thought about my mom and dad that much because they eat really healthy and I've kind of stuck with the more fatty of foods. This can't be that expensive. It is. Can it really? Like, we didn't get that much. You never know. Like, it couldn't be, like, I don't think it should be too much. You proud of yourself? I'm very proud. Well, it's not really the reason you got this. Should... <laughs> the budget was $300 and I ended up only spending $85, which I'm very happy about. Michaela's feeling pretty confident after her first grocery shop, but what will her family make of her efforts? I got some eggs, because... Oh, yeah. Free range eggs, I like free range some eggs. Some mac and cheese. Oh, yes. Mac and yeah. cheese? Chicken noodles for snacks. Some cheese, because Tennille has her rolls. I'm just trying to separate healthy from rubbish. We've got chocolate oh, ice cream. Oh, I'll put that in the rubbish pile. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Cookies. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some oats, because, oh, that's like... That's healthy. Well, oats, oats, are oats are good. Oats, oats are good. good. What? Um, chip? Corn chip. Are you serious? There's more this bad food. This is becoming a big pile. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Are you serious? Got the oh. good chip. All right. I think we're going to run out of room. Are you kidding? The... No, Michaela, come on. <laughs> you're killing me. She's gone into the shops and she's seen everything that she's ever wanted on her first shop. 
got so excited and just went bang, it's in the trolley, it's in the trolley. I'm really nervous. I mean, this is not what I would eat. I think, what are we going to live on? Chips, chips, chips. Where are the apples and bananas? We're running low. Oh, we've got no bananas. So I thought bananas? we had heat. You thought you didn't have a look. The whole plan That's had been lost. Because there's not enough food there to supply five people for a week. Out of $85, $20 of that was something might, I might eat. I'm just really hoping that we get invited to someone else's house for dinner because we're yeah, going to Yeah, that's it. Have we got any soap? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Actually, you're right. Have we got no soap? soap? We don't even have any toilet paper. What do you do once you've eaten all this? Where's our basic necessities? I think you guys are complaining too much. I'm a bit worried about no toilet paper. <laughs> that's going to be a bit awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I only did spend $85, which isn't so bad, but with what I spent it on, I don't think my family liked it at all. This is what my sister bought for a week. All oh, this bad food, except I love the cookies. So... Yeah, hopefully next time I go shopping next week or, you know, maybe next, the next day, it goes way better, but yeah. Three days later, Michaela meets up with her best friend Claudia and I think the lack of food from her first grocery shop is affecting her appetite. Oh my God, look, that slow roasted lamb, yum. I love garlic prawns. Beer battered fish is the best. I love that so much. Oh my god. They have T bone steaks as well. It's not dinner, Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> this is so out of my budget. Okay, so the other day I went out for dinner with my family. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, and we spent about like just under $200. Oh my God, Michaela. <laughs> What's more, the reality of being the family's money manager is starting to sink in. Yeah, it's so hard because like, I'm not really used to paying all the bills and stuff. And I also have to like, manage all the money in the budget and make sure I still have like enough money to pay for the bills or else I, <laughs> so much petrol. I put 500 on and we've already got into like 400. It's so much money. I know. Okay, this is so good. I need to have some more. Okay, from now on, after this meal, I think I'm gonna try save because I've spent so much. Yeah. But tomorrow never comes, and despite her good intentions, the money seems to be burning a hole in her pocket. This was um, almost ten dollars. I think it was eight dollars seventy-five in total. I've been grabbing these like just a quick sec pretty often. So, guess who just came back from the shopping centre? I may or may not have bought some things, but I'm going to show you what I may or may not have bought right now. Yep. That is what I went out and bought today. I have no excuse. I'm sorry, but... I've been going out shopping a lot and I've been buying a lot of food with my friends and I didn't think they would add up to much, but then I realised now that it's gone up so much and I didn't know that. Before things get completely out of hand, Michaela decides to check the budget. I guess I am kind of panicking a bit because of all these receipts and, I mean, I've still got the card with a bunch of things on it and, I don't know, like, all the money is just getting used up really quickly and I'm worried that I won't have enough for my dream item. I have to stop because all the money is going to leave the budget if I keep doing that. Good for you, Michaela. Controlling your spending is a great step. But unfortunately, managing the budget also means dealing with unexpected expenses. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Oh, I don't even know. So how's all the shopping and how's the budget going? It's so hard. All the money is like going so quickly and it's going on things that I didn't even know that they were going. But just a couple of things. Were you aware that Kyle has just gone back to the gym and he has no a gym way. membership, which is $40 a week. That works out to be $160 a month. So we need to add that into the budget as well. So you're just trying to make this hard no, for me. No, serious. This is this is the thing no, that we need we... to spend money on. No, that's what we need to spend money on. No, 
Oh, we don't have the money. Well, you're running the budget. And Mum has another surprise for Michaela. We are going away to the Blue Mountains on the weekend as well, so... Am I paying for the Blue Mountains? Of course you are. Of course you are. I don't know how we're going to do this. Hey, so I just thought I would sum everything up. So I'm going to the Blue Mountains really soon and I'm really excited about it. And also, because my dad's a truck driver, he's away all of the time. Like, I never get to see him, so it's going to be really good. It's probably going to be a little bit costy, which is bad, but... I just got back from the Blue Mountains and it was a really fun trip, but obviously that means it costed money. And yes, it did, and it costed quite a lot. We stayed in a pretty fancy hotel and we ate really expensive dinner meals. And I know it costed like a lot, so that's going to take a lot of money out of the budget. And I'm really worried about that because I don't know where I'm supposed to get the money for it. The Blue Mountains trip has set Michaela's budget back $600. So she calls me up for some advice. Hey, Eddie, it's Michaela. Michaela, hey, it's so good to see you. Do you feel like you've been going OK so far? Not at all. <laughs> Spell it out for me. What's going on? We have spent basically all of our entertainment and, like, outings money. It sounds like you're going to have to say either, all right, guys, no more entertainment for the rest of the month. I don't know, play board games or read books or something that's around the house, which is cost free. Yeah. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any other issues, give me a buzz. Thank you. No worries, Michaela. Have a good one. Bye. I have had a plan, so I've decided I think I might start eating in. And what we can do is cook some pizzas. We could just grab some nice popcorn, which is really cheap, and stay at home and watch a family movie. You've got two choices. What pizza do you want? Cheese or cheese and ham? Cheese and ham. <laughs> That's all I could afford. Say we went out and got pizza. That would cost like <laughs> 20 times as much. Do you guys like onion or not? No! We get cheese and bread for dinner with a bit of tomato sauce. OK, I've got to cook the popcorn soon. So what's your dinner tomorrow night if we're having pizza tonight? We can eat the leftovers. Fat off the grill. <laughs> bit of fat off the grill with a bit of bread. Well, gotta say, it looks very professional. With 10 days to go, Michaela takes her cost cutting exercise a step further, dusting off the board games oh, yeah. and banning expensive trips to the movies. I'll buy it. Fair How much do I owe? 240 Oh, you need to pay $200 tomorrow. Yeah, I'll take it. It's a bit like your budget, isn't it, Michaela? Yeah, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. Money disappearing. Michaela even cuts back on her trips to the mall. For the last 30 days, Michaela's been the boss of her family budget. It hasn't been all plain sailing. She's taken on board some big bills and also tried to keep her family and her spending in check. Will it be enough for her to get that new pair of shoes? Already? <laughs> yeah. First, home maintenance. Um, we usually spend four hundred dollars. Gotta be down. I changed it to one hundred and fifty. We actually spent nothing for the whole month. Oh, okay. Now the the house doesn't look like it's falling apart, so that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the big one. For the food and groceries, we spend two thousand dollars per month. On average, yeah. I kept it the same, and we actually spent. 1,227. Lollies are cheaper than good food. That's true, that's true. With entertainment, we usually spend 200. I put it up to 300. And we ended up spending 699. Yeah, say that one's <laughs> gently a... Now, what happened this month? We had a weekend away with the extended family. Yes. A walking trip through the mountains. Getting that time to connect and just to be together uh, is really important. Well worthwhile. Mm. Well, obviously, that was an enjoyable trip, but it came at a big cost. Came at a cost. So let's see how the rest of the budget balances out with it. Yeah, with the EDN and takeaways, we usually spend 200. 
I changed that to 150 and we actually spent $395. Okay, mm. so, I mean, we did talk about the fact that there was less spent on food and groceries, and maybe this is part of why. That's right, yeah. We got the food elsewhere by eating out. And that wasn't cheap, so that's something to keep in mind. I think we've thrown a lot of curveballs at Michaela. She's chosen a really challenging time to become the boss. So are you ready now to yes. see what's left is... Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh. No. Actually... Not only is this empty, but this wow. month we've actually spent $210 over what we wanted to do. Oh dear. Uh -oh. When I saw the budget reveal, I was actually a little bit impressed because like we had the so many things that I didn't know would happen. I think I did pretty well. Really importantly, I think the one that stands out the most is when we headed to the Blue Mountains. Ah. And in fact, we wanted to have saved $200, right. we kind of spent a bit over by $200, and that $400 difference is pretty much exactly how much it costs for accommodation. In all honesty, if it's only $200, I think you've done pretty well. I'm really proud that she took this on, and she really gave it the best shot that she possibly could, so... She worked hard at it. Yeah. So I'm proud, and I think this has been a, a great learning for her. So. Well done again. It's been a tough month, but everyone has learned something. So I want to say thank you um, to all of you, but especially you, Michaela, for being yeah. a great boss. Well done. Thank all right. you. Take care, everyone. Thank you very much. All the best. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Well. Well. Oh. I think this experience has changed me quite a lot. Now that I know how everything works, um, when my parents tell me no, I'm not allowed to get something, I kind of understand where they're coming from a bit more now. So, that was a busy month. <laughs> <laughs> that was. <laughs>